All right, we gotta get something going. Kirloff's third at bat. We still don't have a hit with him or Perez, I don't think. Oh, let's go. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. What is going on guys? Welcome to TDEV Gaming. If you're new here, make sure to drop that like. Hit that sub button if you haven't already. And uh, hit that bell. Turn on notifications. That way you know when I go live. Uh, if you're not new, then you already knew to do all that. So make sure you do. Come on. Um, so we are going to be doing another debut video today. Um, today we are looking at Salvador Perez here. Uh, for a catcher, really, I liked Joe Torre last time, so <laughs> I don't know if I'll make too many changes, but I did want to still try out Perez. Um, you get him from the Ducks on a Pond. Event reward. Um, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure he was Ducks on the Pond. So you get him out of packs on the market, you know. Um, should be more packs tonight. So his contact, 91, 108. Pretty decent. His power is really, really low. Vision's at 100, so loving that. And clutch is 122. Uh, really good fielding stats besides his reactions. Kind of low. Um, speed of the 40, so not terrible. Uh, he's got some decent uh, quirks here. Sniper, vision hitting machine. Um, vacuum, so you'll block a lot of the ones in the dirt. Um, Alex Kriloff here. So he is the future stars for the Minnesota Twins. You get him at a, what is it, 120, I think. Um, team Infinity Points. So he's a left handed first baseman, 94 overall. He's got a 101, 93 contact. Uh, his power kind of goes down there. 88 against righty, so that's, that's pretty good. Um, 75 against lefty, so you're starting to drop. 92 vision, I love. Um, his fielding stats are all pretty good. Um, drops off there at uh, um, reaction. 74, he's kind of slow, but he's a first baseman, so he's not doing a whole lot of running. But um, he should be able to hit the ball pretty decent. And then we have for our picture, or picture, pitcher, Dane Dunning. 97 stamina. Uh, his controls in 83, his velocity is a 79 with a 92 break. He's gonna throw the ball slow. So hopefully that'll work out. I don't know. Uh, probably won't be a huge fan of him. Only a 91 overall. Now he's got a sinker ball, a curve ball, slider, four seam, and change up. Uh, he's got the sinker and the knuckle ball. I mean, not that good of quirks, really. But uh, without further ado, here's the rest of our team. Ellsbury, Mickey, and Gary. we got Biggio at second, uh, Larkin, and Chipper. All right, Stockton, Merman. He's got, uh, he's got the collections done also, and he's got May on the mound. We're going to have a total of two hits today. Biggio, Sheffield, Mickey. Oh my goodness, what a lineup. Now about to go get fireworks, that's what's up. Go ahead and drop some off over here. He, uh, he's a little closer to 500 than what I am. 60 and 57, I'm 52 and 40. All right, after he paused for almost two minutes, finally getting into this. Very low batting averages with everybody. And I say that I'm gonna leave this curveball up in the zone. He's gonna smash it. Nope. Ooh. Ryan Dane with his first strikeout. Let's go. All right, here's uh, Krilov's first at bat. 
lucky that hit. It was very late. Quilf does have, uh, well, I think it's powers against righties. Yeah. Oh, missed that one. So we do have a little bit of power against righties. His contact was up against both, so. Be nice to drop a little bomb right here. Oh. Mike Piazza. I don't know if I've faced him. I don't even know if I've used him. There we go. Jason Jombi. Now, this is Jason Jombi. can really hit the ball. Yeah. I faced him in some clutch situations, and he's really won some games for people. I think he's been playing a lot in that um, event. Oh. Pitch I hate the most known is this changeup, but we're gonna try it out. And we left it up there. I just don't know if he's got the fastball speed to do that. There we go, another strikeout. Alright, our first at bat with uh, Salvador Perez. That one was outside on that pitch to Biggio. Um, I think Perez is for his power and everything. I can't remember now. I think he had decent contact, but kind of low power. Oh. So I'm not expecting. Yeah, power against righties is only in the 60s. So I'm not expecting a bomb, but I do think we can get a... Having a pretty decent outing from Maine here. He's got two or three strikeouts, I believe. Only that one run was allowed on that slider that... Just didn't get out of the zone like it should have. Then we get Mickey out for a second time right here. Alright, Alex Grill, his second at bat. I think we struck out with the first one. Let's go. Oh. Oh, he's so slow. Oh, man, he couldn't beat that out. Alright. So Dane had a really good. Uh, Inning last time, I think it was three straight strikeouts. So not bad. Because we can't keep it going here. Pitch count is sitting, getting close to 50 now. In the fifth inning now. We've only allowed two hits, one being that home run. So that does kind of suck. We allowed a run. There we go, another strikeout. Get something to stay down. Perez is second at bat. Let's go. Oh, he's got. He's slow. Dang. I need to get something going with my bats. We can't waste another at bat with the pitcher. Tiger Woods. Okay, so maybe we have baseball this year coming close to closing in on. What do you think about this? Uh. I did kind of like the last deal a little bit better. I think the players want to play more games, but we're getting pretty late. I mean, it's almost July. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in Dibble here. Uh, we were just getting um, very tired with Dane. Now I've heard a lot of good things out of Dibble, so I guess it's kind of like a uh, debut for him. I haven't used him yet, so it'll be fun to try him out. Got the O2 to Gary Sheffield here. And there we go. Nice little cutter for a strikeout. Mickey Mantle, we've kept him very quiet today, 0 for 2. Getting him to swing it some pitches that are way out of the zone which isn't bad then like that cutter inside the 
does certainly like those high ones though. Let's see if we can't get him to bite down here at this one. Oh, that was nowhere even close to where we wanted that dibble. So I think it's got dibble up there at 102 on his fastball. Look at that, 102. For a reliever, that is awesome. Oh, I can't believe we didn't bite at that. Need a strike out here. Oh. Just a little bit of a foul off. And there we go. Little second strikeout and two batters. All right, Miggy up. Miggy hit a home run off of us earlier. I was kind of trash talking a card, and then he takes one out on me. That was very nice of him. Something like that inside pitch. One and two, going for the strikeout right here. High and tight, baby, high and tight. And strike three, let's go. All right, we gotta get something going. Krilov's third at bat. We still don't have a hit with him, or Perez, I don't think. Oh, let's go. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. All right, so we got, uh, Dibble second inning here. We had a really good first inning. Uh, we have three strikeouts. So, Dibble, yes, very impressive. Hopefully, we can continue that here with Mike Piazza up to bat. Getting him on a lot of those high pitches. Wow, we were not even close on that. Don't know what happened right there. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, we didn't suffer a hit. We didn't get the strike out there. That's right, we got one down in the top of the eighth. Coming back, we got that uh, one run last inning. Get a little strike here to Giambi. This is Giambi, man. He he can definitely hit the ball, so you gotta be careful where you place it on him. That one. Thankfully, that one wasn't in the zone. Might have been smashed. Oh, getting in behind tight again. Oh, he didn't bite that low one. He seems to move the low ones away and he wants uh, the high ones. Oh, just late on that 102. How are you supposed to catch up with that? After you've been facing that 94 mile an hour fastball all day. All of a sudden 102 coming in here hot. Man, swinging at that. It's handy. I haven't seen a lot of people use him. Got a moment two right here. Let's go. Let's get another strikeout. Number five. All right, Perez is uh, third at bat. Still hit loads with him. Oh, got into that one. Be nice if he could uh, pop off a home run right here too. Oh wow, that was a terrible hack. Arnold Perez. Dang. I'm swinging that stupid stuff right there. I got Dibble back on the mound. Got what? Five strikeouts now? And six batters, one pop up. Tony Gwynn up to bat. He put him in for his pitcher. Tony's a, normally a pretty really good uh, contact hitter. Just trying to keep him off base in this 1-1 game. Took us seven innings to score off May. 
There, I got the one two count here. Hoping for another strikeout. Nope, not buying with that. It's been a very, very close game all day. Oh, got him inside. Let's go. Alright, top of the lineup up. Craig Biggio. I think Mickey's up after him. These are two of the best batters in the game. Oh, that was terrible. What are you swinging at? I'll take it at that, though. Oh. Oh. Hit that one just foul. Can't let Biggio get a hold of one. Gotta keep him guessing. There it is. Another strikeout. What is that, seven now? We faced eight batters and we have seven strikeouts. Oh, Reggie's up. I thought it was Mickey. Reggie's no slouch either. I really don't like facing him. Oh, and he got a hit up the middle. Oh. I don't know about this one. And Gary Sheffield up. We've kept him off the base path today so far. Getting him to swing at that slider right there. Low key, very clutch. And their high fastball. Oh, pop him up. Can we get there? Nope. Just short. All right, we're getting the strikeout pitch right here. And let's. All right, so here we are, bottom of the ninth, one out. Chipper Jones up the bat. Chipper's one for three today. We could really take a long ball right here. This uh, Fernando Rodney though. I mean, if you guys got him, he is a good closer to come in here. Uh, he's in the Ducks on a pond pack. Can't really hit him very much. Sometimes I do. I've faced him a couple times so far this year. For how short he's been out. Oh, missed that one there. It fouled off. Staying alive with Chipper. Been a minute since we had a chipper home run. Ooh, ah. Keep that ball down, boy. All right, chipper base knock. There we go, right back up the middle. Oh, oh I didn't know if we get past him. Not with Mickey out there. We'll take the single. Alex Kriloff up it for his fourth time. He had that solo home run back in the seventh, I think it was. Be nice to have a uh, walk off with him in his debut game. That'd be pretty sweet. Oh, I'm not going nowhere with Chipper, man. Chipper is not taking an extra step. He ain't stealing no bases. Not with 64 speed. Oh, that was it, man. Change up when we had to be early on it. Can't be early right now. Oh, oh! Gotta be kidding me, just foul. Oh, early, that would have been nice. We were right on that, man. Oh, what is going on? All right, Gary Sheffield up, two outs, bottom of the ninth. Ah, chipper over on first. We gotta get a base knock right here. Come on. Oh, wow, that was a terrible hack at that slider. Come on, Gary. Get yourself an RBI here. Let's hit a home run. Oh, little line drive. Oh, is it deep enough to score him? Chipper's at second. Oh, we're sending him. We're doing it. We're going. Come on. He, there it is. Let's go. Walk off. GG's, man. We definitely, that was a close game. I don't even know if we earned that one, but. Woo. Gary Sheffield with that double there. Woo, yeah, definitely double. MVP of this game. Pitched three innings, had eight strikeouts. Oh my God, yes. All right, so Perez, we didn't have a whole lot of hits in that whole game. I think we only had like four or five. Um, that was my first time facing May and he was not easy to hit. But uh, Perez, three attempts, two strikeouts, no hits. Wasn't really impressed. There's a lot of other better catchers. Um, especially that you can get for free. Joe Torre, for instance, I think is probably the best catcher right now. Um, so, Perez, 
He's not gonna make my lineup, man. Alex Kriloff. He uh he wasn't bad. He's got that power against uh righties. And we had four four at bats, but I think we had um two strikeouts. That one hit we shouldn't have struck out that second time. That was a terrible swing by me. Um, and I think one of his outs was a perfect, perfect. But in that uh, last at bat, in the ninth, he almost did hit a home run there also. I wouldn't have been so early on it. So he's actually a really nice card. If you need a uh, good first baseman, this could be the guy you're looking for. Minnesota Twins, um, Team Affinity, 120 points. So Dane Dunning, he was actually not doing too bad. He had uh, eight strikeouts in six innings. Um, where does it show? He only allowed two hits. He was doing really good. We just needed runs. Uh, I probably would have left him in for another inning or two. The only negative thing about him is he just doesn't throw that hard. 92 mile an hour sinker, 80 or 94 mile an hour fastball. It's just not that fast. So I. He's not going to make my lineup. I got way better pitchers than that. But uh, he still was. I mean, if you're you just start down and you got, uh, you, you're a White Sox fan and you want to get him, I definitely, I definitely would. That is it, guys. I am, uh, that's it for the video today. Not a bad outing. We did get the dub. We didn't play that good. Could have hit May a little bit better. Um, 484 so hopefully the next thing will put us in the 500s and we'll keep working on our way up uh, don't forget if you want to watch these videos live you can see them on twitch uh, typically I'm streaming uh, 9 30 p.m. central uh, three four nights out of the week uh, you can follow me on Twitter or Facebook and you can see that schedule posted every week of when I'll be streaming um, you can follow me on Instagram cuz why not I never post but still a cool thing to do uh, and that's it. All links are down in the descriptions. Don't forget to hit that follow button. And uh, if you haven't subbed yet, make sure you do that.